Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review The Way Back, which opens March 6, 2020, courtesy of Warner Brothers. Uh, it's directed by Gavin O'Connor, who was last on hand in 2016 with uh, two features, Jane Got a Gun, the uh, faded property he inherited from Lynn Ramsey, starring Natalie Portman, and The Accountant, which also starred Ben Affleck as an assassin with Asperger's. Uh, so Ben Affleck is back channeling uh, some of his own well-publicized issues with alcoholism in uh, what's actually a surprisingly astute character study uh, about an alcoholic who uh, becomes a basketball coach for his old high school uh, where he had served his glory days. Um, it was written by Brad Inglesby who recently wrote American Woman and also Out of the Furnace. Um, and uh, was lensed by Edward Rao, who uh, was a cinematographer on Buried and a Single Man, uh, to name a few. Uh, O'Connor uh, is seems to gravitate towards sports-related films, such as uh, the Kurt Russell's Lead Miracle. Uh, but this isn't really a sports film. It really is a, a well-stated uh, character study for Affleck's character, Jack Cunningham, uh, who is, as we come to learn, is struggling uh, with a relationship with his estranged wife uh, due to their son that died of cancer uh, two years prior. Um, also, th in the supporting cast, there's Michaela Watkins as his sister, uh, and a couple uh, nice, uh, very minor roles for Glenn Turman shows up and T.K. Carter of The Thing uh, gets a scene. The boys are all uh, kind of subtly underperformed, I'd even say, uh, because the focus isn't them, it's on Affleck's character. Uh, I think the R rating is a bit unfair considering it's just for language, but uh, overall I was, this film was not what I expected to be on any front, and uh, Affleck is probably in, given one of the finest performances of his career, uh, I would give the film three out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.